So my name is Emil. I'm with the Polka Scan project, and we're trying to build a multi-chain explorer. Substrate is such a generic technology that it allows you to build any blockchain on top of that. Uh, and we kind of got it very early on that we could actually build a generalized a block explorer stack fit that, that would fit on top of uh, Substrate. And because Substrate allows for the development of all these chains, uh, that one single uh, block explorer stack would allow us to support all these individual chains. So we build one single block explorer stack and you get block explorers for every chain that is built with a substrate. And that's a really cool idea. We did a lot of research. Uh, um, I basically hacked our entire stack uh, together from I think it was last summer up to um, uh, December. And uh, well, I guess we figured out uh, what needs to be done to get that generalized block explorer for Substrate uh, built. Uh, so we got a lead engineer so I could shift my focus uh, elsewhere, keep it on the research and have our new lead engineer uh, implement uh, this generalized block explorer based to the research uh, we've done uh, so far. So uh, we got a Web3 Foundation grant uh, and that helps us a lot. Uh, um, it allows us to provide the community with an open source block explorer for Substrate, uh, uh, which is, in my opinion, uh, uh, essential for this new ecosystem uh, to have that right from the start. Uh, so where are we now? We've identified a number of milestones and um, with each milestone we'll uh, increment our full stack of the um, generalized block explorer and we'll do a live demo uh, today at the Sub-Zero conference uh, to show a single uh, Docker Compose uh, command uh, to get your uh, block explorer up and running for the Alexander network, uh, for the Edgeware network, uh, um, for the uh, Robonomics network, uh, and I think uh, we should even have support for the uh, Joystream uh, network. Uh, so the idea is uh, that we get these configuration files uh, uh, set up for all these networks and our single block explorer stack could support every uh, all the hundreds of uh, uh, parachains or solo chains uh, uh, that are being built on uh, uh, Substrate. I'm really excited to see how this multi-chain how that evolves, uh, how that comes into existence. Uh, so Polkadot will tie together all these parachains within its universe. Uh, and I've liked uh, the analogy that was made uh, to an economy. Uh, and within an economy, you have uh, companies uh, and all these companies uh, fill the niches within the economy uh, to best do the work uh, they are uh, specialized in. Uh, and I think uh, um, that sets Polkadot apart from other third generation technologies. Uh, that it allows for all these chains, which are not necessarily general purpose uh, smart contract platforms, but they may be uh, a single purpose or dual purpose uh, blockchains, which are highly optimized to do that task uh, uh, made out for them. It could be a bank chain, it could be an oracle chain, it could be an identity chain, it could be a, a generalized smart contract platform. And interoperability and interchain messaging uh, will enable uh, the work to be done within the company or the blockchain uh, or the sovereignty uh, uh, that does it best. Uh, and I think no one can predict uh, how that will pan out exactly, yeah. but that's really exciting. And um, my personal uh, um, goal with building uh, the multi-chain explorer is to actually learn uh, by looking at the data how uh, you know that turns out uh, to be. 
we have uh, polkascan.io, which is a hack to get a prototype of our multi-chain explorer. It will be changed uh, soon. My presentation will go into that, uh, but we are present on Medium, medium.com slash polkascan. We are present on GitHub, uh, github.com slash polkascan, which has our source code for our first and almost our second uh, milestone. Uh, and we are present on Twitter at twitter.com slash polkascan.